The Ugandan movie industry has surely grown by leaps and bounds. In that light, Kampala has witnessed red carpet premieres akin to continental standards. The Bed of Thorns movie premiere exuded pomp, but was the style befitting? Welcome to Uganda's premier style and fashion TV show, The NTV Style Project. I am your host, Azibon Solomon, and tonight I happen to be joined by Asfa proprietor, Ahumuza Bran. Welcome to the NTV Style Project. Thank you so much, Tazbon. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to have this episode. And serial entrepreneur and founder, Budua Kasadiroy Su Ochola. Welcome to the NTV hello, Style Project. Hello, hello. <laughs> Still trying to do Roy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I missed so that. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much for having me. What a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Been too long. I'm finally here. <laughs> we're actually thrilled to have you on the show Thank tonight. You. Thank you very much. So before we get into what we're here to do tonight, you know, we know we, you like to dip your hands here and there. Tell us a bit about uh, Boudoir Casadiroy. So Boudoir um, Casadiroy is my, first of all, Boudoir is a um, definition of a space between a bedroom and a living room. Mm -hmm. And that is what my studio looks like. Mm -hmm. So my style is very eclectic. I've got a lot of art mm -hmm. and fashion mm -hmm. and I collect African tribal art and also modern European mm. so that also shows in my stuff mm. so I have for instance I'm wearing Sagi Rossi which is very Italian <laughs> I'm wearing fishnet stockings and an African print outfit mm. which is tailor-made like a Burberry style suit mm. so that's what I do for a Casa de Roy. Oh wow the bed of thorns movie premiere we open tonight's dissecting board with the producers Matthew and Elena Nawiso, who happen to not be new to the NTV Cell project. You know, we've talked about these guys on the show time and time again, and basically looking back at the AMVC years where they were like a walking disaster. I think <laughs> this, <laughs> I think this time, you know, I still am not impressed, but I love maybe the fact that you know they look polished and then moving on to elena now elena definitely uh, has a thing for blue because i remember the repeated dress at the M amvcs was blue yeah, too <laughs> but you know i love the fact that she's with child and you know she's glowing and you know people usually say that uh, when a woman is expectant she just actually when she's most beautiful so then okay i i you know i i like Matthew, he's, his tux kind of look. it looks great. Mm. The pants are a little bit, you know, baggish. Um, the dress looks lovely on her. Not quite sure about her earrings, her earring. mm. but I think this is beautiful. She could have worked better with her hair. But then again, like we said, she, like I said, mm. women who expect maybe mm. she was tired. And so I'll give her a pass for that. But yeah. I think they look nice together. <laughs> okay, I have all these words to say. Uh, I've seen the power couples right now. This is what they call power couples. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Most power couples are very fashionable. They will make sure if we are going to wear something, I think we kind of coordinate. coordinate. Yeah. Black itself, <laughs> I should say, for, for, for Matthew, but the pants are terrible. I will talk about the shoes as well. For me, when a guy's look, it's always about the shoes. I look at the shoes first. Personally, when I'm shopping, it's the mm. shoe. Mm. The shoes are terrible. They look, uh, I don't want to say cheap. Mm. <laughs> they look very cheap and uh, they look like they've worked so much. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then the lady, what did you say about her hair? I can't say more. more. <laughs> <laughs> the earrings, like no. Mm. The earrings, actually, yeah. I don't mind the dress. It's very safe. Dress is pretty. It's pretty it's and it's very, very safe, yeah. but uh, the earrings are wrong. Mm. And I think it's not the first time she's having wrong accessories. Moving on to celebrated Ugandan model turned actor, Mishema Hausen, who happens to feature in the film, Bran. Look at the shoes terrible oh, you get it he awful, looks very awful. nice I know him well. yeah but when you look at the shoes terrible mm, before yeah. you choose what you're going to wear like you should choose it based on the shoes you're wearing that's you that's what i do like yeah, a you need lot to of select times. the shoes yes. first then mm. you that's what i'm thinking but even us ladies i was doing yeah. the man's shoes first and his watch and i'm kind of like oh mm. you know mm. but then he's 
suits all right. The shoes are just really like, oh, dry. Okay, so in one word, if I were to cover the rest of his body and then you only saw the, the feet, what would you <laughs> say? What would you think? Zero seven What's that seven. one? <laughs> <laughs> That's the number to call. Yeah. But then again, if you cover the shoes mm. and then you would, yeah. want, you would actually want to say, what shoes lad. is yeah. he wearing? Yes. If yeah. you covered his shoes, you would say, wow. But then mm. you would want to know mm. what shoes is he wearing. Wrong I shoes. feel the suit is, is amazing. amazing. The fit of it is gorgeous. I love the color. Yeah. And I love the fact that he actually opted for not a formal dress shirt. Yeah. But mm. he just t-shirt. went with a t-shirt. Right. But the shoes look like a size small. <laughs> yeah, they look smaller. Yeah. And, then, and then they look 50,000. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, so much shade on this side. <laughs> One of our favorite Ugandan female comedians, mm. Mata K. Mata K. The Range Rover Girl. The Range Rover Girl. Mm. Ah, was Grace the Red Carpet as well. And she also happens to feature in the movie. And this time she was wearing a creation by uh, Kai's Devo Collection. Now, this for me, what gives me life is the sleeves of it. Yes. I love yes. the sleeves. I love the sleeves. And I love the fact that you have that little cutout on the shoulder because supposing it were not there, it would have looked a bit too safe. But I loved, I love the positioning of that cutout. Yeah. But I feel like um, the length of it just did not dissolve the slit. I feel oh, the yeah. slit definitely needed to be a bit higher if it yeah. were to be there yeah. Yeah. or it wouldn't or have the been there just maybe, oh. maybe yes. not because yeah. mm. yeah. with her figure a midi mm. looks nice mm. sometimes people wear certain things and they don't know how to to bring it out but then also i just wanted the producer to zoom in i needed to look at the nails <laughs> i don't <laughs> i'm not being too much i just wanted to look at and see because right now i've been seeing a lot of girls very beautiful but then mm. they forgot to pass I don't look good. Yeah. <laughs> I like her shoes. I'm honestly tired of seeing these glass slippers everywhere. They're like stripper heels. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. They're everywhere. Moving on to songstress Solome Basuta, who opted for a touch of Ankara. Now, I love this girl. I love, I love, love, love her voice. And you know, she has a very big, larger than life personality. And I feel for her kind of personality, you know, this was very safe. The Ankara situation is just like, just anything any girl would wear. And then the no, skirt. Really. I'm, oh, I'm okay. The is beautiful on leather, mm. although it, it's, it's very casual for mm. a film. Yeah, wear. that's, that's, that's yeah. the kind of vibes it's giving me. It looks a, a tad too casual for yeah, me. Yeah, afternoon tea with the mm -hmm, girls, you know, mm -hmm. go to the office. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Solomon's look, Brian? Uh, I'm, I've, I've not followed her because sometimes when I'm judging someone's look, I need to know their kind of style and how they reflect sometimes on. So I've not really followed her, but with this look, to be honest, on the red carpet for me, it's just like I would pass her. It's, I've mm. seen a lot of Ankara. Uh, I've, it, you have to really do so much to convince me to love it. She's, uh, she's the, the Ankara I'm person. Right. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be worn. <laughs> Anyone that watched the hostel definitely does know this lady over here, Diana Kahunde. Now, when I look at Diana Kahunde, I feel like she basically just went to a bridal shop and rented a changing gown and then had a flower. Um, I'm having a somewhere. problem with a flower. <laughs> that flower is like, it's giving me a headache. from the backdrop. Yeah, from the backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> just... Hi, flower. Yeah. You belong here. You know? <laughs> then and the she... watch doesn't look nice at all. Mm. And then and the tiara, and then, oh my God. What like... side is it facing? I don't know if it was falling or it was supposed to be that style. I think it was I supposed to be a bit tilted. Oh, kind of tilted? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Queen B. <laughs> I love, she's back to <sighs> like me. I love all of it. Then maybe something else I would like to say is uh, sometimes when you're wearing, when you're dressing up, you need to understand your body. Yeah. I feel that's the wrong choice. Oh, no. She's not supposed to, with her kind of body, I don't oh, think. With her bust, I think that's lovely. No, Most look at the arms and the armpits. It doesn't, it's, it's disturbing. Maybe mm. it's my eyes, mm -hmm. but I find it very disturbing. Obviously, if, uh, follow Malaika, and you know her persona is everything. She's she's this amazing, you know, girl, and she actually has an amazing an amazing taste to match. But I feel like this look 
you just did not need that size of clutch. To Maybe make, she wanted to, no, it to was make a blocking, statement. Yeah, no, no, it's yeah. not even about blocking. The blocking is actually, I love the blocking. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. perfect. Exactly. Then, so you know, one thing I always say about red carpet, sometimes you have to make a bold statement. Mm -hmm. I find this, I've not seen it before. I've not seen something like a big clutch with a, mm -hmm. it's quite a statement, which I think she played safe. Yeah, Malaika is a star and I think she's not a star by mistake. When you look at this, she really comes out like I've been a style icon of a sort and, uh, mm. and this is it. On that note, let's take a quick break. We will be with you in a Jiffy. Sarah Chisauzi is one of our favorite, favorite movie personas and this time she actually was in attendance in a kaftan. Now, for a lady her age, I feel, you know, they love to, ladies her age love to carry themselves with grace. Mm -hmm. And you know, the character and the role she always uh, plays on TV and in these movies, it's always like an elderly figure, like a mother. And I feel this is like, you know, in line, this is, it's it's for me it's befitting i want to uh, get rid of the you know, <laughs> the standee so, so you can see you know, yeah, but yeah. Get on sale at 50K. <laughs> it kills our mama she looks lovely yeah you I know wish I could get a picture maybe mama is all about the <laughs> money my dear it's yeah. like yes right yeah. next to it <laughs> i think from the looks i could say at least i can it looks really beautiful. This is like the best look so far for mm. the night. Mm. Yeah, and uh, it reminds me, remember when Madonna, I think the age means, mm. I don't know. <laughs> Madonna, the billboard awards, they, they, she came with this, uh, what, the kaftan. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, like Madonna is a superstar. She had all these accessories. Mm. She, yeah. She, yeah, it is too safe, which is a very good thing for maybe Ugandan standards, but like sometimes for a superstar, you need to really go mm. an extra mile and make that statement. You know, this is so typical of like Ugandan ladies, like the ones that say Fete Tulibas fashion is celeb. This is what they always wear. Yeah. And then they expect to not be talked about. <laughs> We're gonna talk about you. <laughs> we are definitely gonna talk about you. Yeah. This is safe, like it's so safe to the point that it's so boring. Like Very it's boring. so it's not memorable at all. You just look at her and not even she's not a head turner for me. <laughs> yeah, beautiful face. She's pretty face. Pretty. Very she's pretty. Her lips are popping. Yeah. Mm. Her hair is fantastic. I like the dress from down. I just want to get scissors and chop off the whole neck bit that's up there and just and, mm. she, and you know, like I yeah. feel this was supposed to be one of those illusion dresses, like mm -hmm. a nude tone. Mm. Yeah. So this one oh, like yeah. on a save like oh, a Caucasian. Zero then it would look more interesting. <laughs> yes, so we, if we just got rid of the upper bit lace bit uh -huh. and then just left her with all of that. What so I think, Suzanne, we visual. just need to get another dress. <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right, then. Well, um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of bows. I've already said on the show, I, I just do not like bows, whichever way. So I'm a bit biased when I look at, at this dress. So this fabric is quite tricky. It's taffeta, you know, it what, just... What is that, spandex? I don't know, it kind of looks like taffeta. It's, oh, okay. It just has that very tacky, shimmery finish. Uh-huh that for me is like so 1990 bridesmaid vibe <laughs> that's why it gives me i'm just not here for this look i've actually worked with her she's she's called agnes she's an up, she's an upcoming actress or an actress because i've worked with her before yeah, yeah i know how passionate she is about fashion and acting um the hair i have a problem with the hair the hair is just so messy agnes <laughs> the hair is messy <laughs> Then also Agnes, <laughs> make sure if you're on, going to be on the red carpet or the green carpet, just make sure you don't look disorganized with the phones and getting out something from the bag. By the time you get on, just make sure you're ready. Mm. for the pictures not nangi <laughs> kubane you know mm. that moment yeah <laughs> yeah so it's, yeah, yeah. It, it, well, maybe it, it, she wasn't ready no it's important like i said if they're going to capture your picture make sure you're in the right position so then you know this. i know that but some photographers just want to get the bad image of you i know but the thing yeah. is uh i know she was giving maybe the phone to someone she should have done that even before before stepping yeah, onto before the carpet yeah before stepping there Here and it's very important then you make 
the way you pose, the mm. dress is very beautiful. I think it is beautiful, but sometimes it's about how you pose. Though the hair, no. Okay, so uh, it was a bed of thorns. And thorns, when you think of thorns, there's roses and there's flowers. So mm. this gentleman here opted for <laughs> a cliche. Of course, you have him wearing a blue floral shirt for crying out loud. Like some colors, when it comes to red carpet, now let me educate Ugandans. Even if it's a floral themed event and it's like um, A list, like now a movie premiere, if you are opting for something floral, I would recommend that you went for muted tones, like in blacks, in greys, in the deep browns. But this to me is like an eye, so it looks like a bead shirt. And then the belt, my God. Oh, that belt is awful. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think guys still wear belts in 2019, honestly. No, they do, but then you have, you know, even if you've got your nice, yeah. sort of labeled belt, mm. but the buckle, <sighs> it's just, it's, it's been okay. overworn. Mm. It's, you know. Personally, you know, I know a belt is meant for pants if they don't fit you well to just make sure they fit you right mm, that's mm. what i know about belts mm -hmm. i don't wear a belt if the pants are fitting me perfect then maybe also the floral shirt i when i looked at the picture first i thought mm. maybe he came with you know when you come with other clothes in the car and then yeah. he sees these flowers <laughs> <laughs> then and then like, he heads back, back to the yeah. parking <laughs> yeah so he blends yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah. i think that you know the blazer and black pants floral shirt a gray blazer didn't quite go well yeah, yeah the floral shirt just doesn't work after either. floral shirt another day mm. i pair it up with maybe some white linen pants mm -hmm. you know somewhere else miami beach but not on that red carpet but i love this dress first of all for yeah, the fact the, that you yeah, the you know you get to see a bit of yes. skin like mm. peeping mm. and you know the length of it and then the ruffles you know it's i've not seen good. ruffles and lace work well together it's i feel like she dress, definitely yeah. nailed it for me people need to know how to position themselves I'm, i think i've said it on the same show so many times yes. it's very important if you're going to go on a backdrop Mm -hmm. take pictures you know exactly how to pause mm. based on what you're wearing uh, i don't know because sometimes yeah. i feel people wear the right things but then they stand yeah, you, just do not <laughs> you get it then it yeah. comes out terrible yeah so it's, it's important to know if you're a couple like we're going to you you've, you've seen all these things on the b on on e and all and, and on the style project no, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, a no, it's very event. yeah it's you very important you need to know mm. susan if you're going to go as my date we need to know and i do that every time how are we going to pause how are we going to because it's show business. And even how the clothes are going to look yeah, how against they're going to each look. other. And then yes. also like, how are we, like I'm sure when we came on this way, like Susan, sit like this, I sit like, it's very <laughs> important guys. Yes. Mm. It's very, very important. Mm. Otherwise you wear beautiful things and then the mm. pose messes it up. Mm. Then you, you're you holding phones, you're holding a clutch, you look so busy, then the whole dress looks terrible. Mm. Yeah. So I know you're both uh, very big on events, the both mm. of you and uh, basically looking at uh, this uh, movie premiere what do you make of the way people like turned up what do you think of the style in general uh, before i even talk about what the people wore i think we talked about it last year on the style project yes, yes. we yes. want to get rid of flowers anything flower flower for a backdrop mm. and uh, anything floral anything I don't know it's just it's because it was so 2018. Mm -hmm. i remember when you're doing the resolutions and the things that should it happen in 2019 it was one of the things that had to stay mm -hmm. and it's already 2019 it's coming to media and we're still seeing flowers for backdrop and i feel very... like that's like that's the same face bit for all ugandans because the nowadays if you see in every event uh, like from baby showers that's what i'm trying to say it's, it's like very flowers, confusing flowers, so yeah, flowers, at this point you don't know what kind of if, a, a, a baby shower it's flowers a red carpet it's flowers if a big nasty photo shoot it's <laughs> flowers, flowers uh, <laughs> you know do you think that maybe because we Ugandans were maybe lazy we wait for someone to start trend that's the thing and then yeah we follow. We then don't we like fo to use we our heads exactly to do. yeah we're mm. not creative enough mm. you know mm. Mm. we've got pinterest we've got google just go on there and look for ideas i feel like 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 i said earlier you know it's like still flowers are the safest bits mm. yeah.
Use your heads, but no. I'm in Cambridge. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know what? Their levels. Maybe the budget was a flower budget. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them credit for that. I think that they made an effort. Mm. I mm. think they did try, especially with the organization this time. And I know the style was not that great. But uh, when you compare this uh, premiere to premieres that we've critiqued on the show before, okay. it's like just, it's, it's grown. Like I yeah. said earlier, you know, you get to see a little bit of progress. I agree about the style, but it's uh, it's, it's a certain group of people that are very very stylish, mm -hmm. and then you find that they don't attend some of these events. Mm -hmm. So the people like uh, this, if you look at this premiere, the people that attended are not the fashionable, the very fashionable people mm. that we know of. And then also celebrities in Uganda, you know, they are not the kind that really, really take fashion that's so mm. serious. Yeah. And that's why they need stylists. Like we've always reiterated this on the show, we've talked about it time and time again. Yeah. If you know you're not like big on style, or if you know it's not your thing, then seek the help of a professional. Well, there's always so much style to talk about, but so little time, unfortunately. On that note, as we wrap up, what are you working on at the moment, Sue? Well, everyone knows about the champagne bar in the industrial area, Casa mm -hmm. de Roy. That's mm -hmm. open every day uh, mm -hmm. between 12 and midnight. We have a happy hour. We've got a few amazing cocktails, mm -hmm. like Honey I'm Home, which is made from organic Ugandan <laughs> honey. So you walk in there at 4 p.m., it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Honey I'm Home. Also, I've come up with a DJ friend of mine mm -hmm. for um, a night which is called Music Industry Nights. We have a lot of people in the music industry, mm. females especially, who are in the, the background that we don't know about. We want producers who are female, we want DJs who are female, mm. we want publishers who are female in the industry to come out every Monday at Custody in the Courtyard and just celebrate each other. Mm. That's starting from next Monday. All right. And Brian, you've been busy lately. What have you been up to and what should we expect? I've been traveling cool style, yeah. shopping for my clients and all. So yeah, yeah I have a lot of new stock mm -hmm. for the brand's collection. Mm -hmm. Affordable, <laughs> yeah, affordable. Singer said a singer stoned. Well, we had a ball on the show tonight, and we hope you did as much. Make it a point to connect with us on our social platforms by liking our Facebook page, the NTV Style Project. And following us on Instagram, the handle is the underscore style project. Tonight's show has been shot on location at A. Brian's collection. And I've been your host, Azibon Solomon. From the crew and I, good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, Stay blessed. Bye.